Making a trip to Europe to see the culture, museum, and the famous landmark is my plan for a long time. Today, April 12, 2006, Fanny and I are at Buckingham Paris Road, center of London, to start our journey. The Queen Victoria Memorial and St. James Park are just next by. This is Buckingham Palace, Change God Selling. It is one of the major attractions in London. This is Victoria Station, right in downtown. It's a junction of all the subway. In London, subway is called Tube. These are various look of London, Westminster, London Bridge, and the museums. We took the train, Eurostar, from the Waterloo Station of London through the British Channel to gather north of Paris. It took three and a half hours. In Paris, we are living in Bastille, Gator Lyon area, close by the water. We can see the Notre Dame Church in the distance. This is Penfield, south of the river, in the well-known Latin area. The College of France and other culture are all found in this area. You just can't say you have visited Paris without going to the Eiffel Tower. Here you are.
The Musée de Louvre consists of the old building above ground and the underground covered by a pyramid. It is designed by the Chinese American architect, Mr. Bui Lui Ming. The other landmark is the Art of Triumph and the luxury shop along the Sonsery Seas, the woman's shopping paradise. This is the front gate of the Chateau de Versailles. It is in the south suburb of Paris. It is a treasure of arts, painting and sculpture. Louis XVI was living here before he was executed. This is the open market of Bastille. It only opens Thursday and Sunday. Tonight, we take an overnight train to Venice and say goodbye to Paris. We arrive at Venice train station in the early morning. After we check in, we took a boat to St. Marcus Square. Venice. The whole city is made up of many small canals, narrow roads and buildings. It is just a maze and very easy to get lost. When you are in it, you feel you are going back to the 17th century of Europe. We took a train early next morning to Rome, passing by Florence and a number of small towns along the way, and we arrived at Termini about noontime. 
This is a famous terminal station, a major bus and train station in Rome. Our hotel is very close by. Most of the landmarks are within walking distance in Rome, such as Colosio, the ancient palace, Flora Romano, the famous fountain da Trivi, the Spanish step, just to name a few. This is a long weekend in Italy. That's why so many people crowd and jammed on the street. We visit Vatican in the fourth day. We arrive at St. Peter's Square early in the morning. And then we went into the church. Wow, it is a treasure of art. And later we visit the museum of Vatican. It's a long line up, take about one and a half hour, but it is worth it.
he left Rome on April 30, take a train to the airport Fiumicino, also called Davanti Airport, to fly to Athens. The flight to Athens is about two and a half hours. We arrive at the international airport, and then we take the subway to downtown Omenia, where we book our hotel. The subway is very new. It was built for 2004 Olympics. Athens is famous for its long civilization, the archaeology finding, and the Acropolis. First night, we visit the Packer area. Then the next day, we visit the city center, Sintama. The Acropolis is about two and a half kilometers south of the city center. It is beside a subway station. The Parthenon, the temple, built on top of the mountain 650 BC. Nowadays, it is the symbol of Greece. It represents the glorious civilization of the past. number of archaeological sites around this area. They are Paris, buildings and gardens. The ancient Agroa is one of them, which is on the north side of the mountain. from Philopapos Hill to see the Acropoli and the surrounding area. This is the Philopapos Monument. This is an ancient theater, Herodion. Now it's converted into an open theater for Athens. We took a bus to see the ancient site, Cape Shuria, 50 kilometers south of Athens. The temple, Poston, was built at a high point, oversee the Argean Sea. Thousands of years ago, the Persian 
Navy in Wei Afen from here, and a famous story, Trojan Horse, occurred in this area. We decide to visit some island in the Argent Sea, so we take a train to the south of Athens, the port called Pyrus, from where we took a boat to one of the islands called Hydra. This is a small island. It is the main transportation the is by donkey, and no car is allowed. Today is our last day in Athens. We visit the Archaeology Museum of Greek. In the evening, we fly back to London. From there, we fly back to Vancouver to wrap up our journey. <laughs>